Hello and welcome to the session in which we will look at the cost volume profit analysis in an application format using as well the contribution margin and the contribution margin ratio which are integral part of the cost volume profit analysis and remember you have to really understand the contribution margin income statement which is sales minus variable cost which is sales minus variable cost gives you the contribution margin minus fixed cost so it's critical whether you are a student or a cpa candidate or a cma candidate that you understand the contribution margin income statement that's right here we'll take sales and we'll deduct from the sales variable cost then that's going to give us contribution margin then we deduct fixed cost simply put we separate the cost into a fixed component and a variable component now we were working in the prior session with Adam Electronics Retailer, which is Adam selling tablets. The selling price for each tablet is $500. The variable cost or the variable expense, remember whether I said variable cost or variable expense, they mean the same thing. What matters is it's a variable behavior. 500, which is the selling price minus the variable cost, gives us the contribution margin. Now, if you wanna copy this numbers down because I'm gonna be using this example to work what if analysis then the total sales for this example is 500 units 500 tablets total sales is 250,000 which is 500 tablets times the selling price of, of 500,000 variable expense is 500 units times $300 which is 150 sales minus variable expense will give us the contribution margin minus the fixed cost will give us the net operating income or simply it might be in your textbook as shown as profit the percentage is the contribution margin is 40 percent which is taken 200 divided by 500 which is the contribution margin divided by sales or you can take the total contribution margin 100,000 divided by 250. now we're going to work a few examples to see what if what would happen to the profit if we change any of these components? And this is what we mean by cost volume profit analysis. Let's assume we want to find out the profit impact if Adam can increase unit sales from 500, which is the current status, to 540. And how would Adam's going to do so? Well, one of the salesperson suggested, let's increase monthly advertising by 10,000. Say, let's increase monthly advertising. Let's have more ads on Facebook and YouTube where people can see our product and as a result we're going to increase sales by 40 units the question is should we uh, go with this option well we have to find out what happened well here's what happens we're going to increase sales by 40 additional units each unit will contribute $200 as a result we're going to have an increase in contribution margin of $8,000 well the fixed cost which is the advertising component will increase by 10 so we're going to have a plus 10 i'm sorry plus 8 minus 10. is this a good deal no overall it's going to be negative 2000. now again from a business perspective we're dealing strictly from numbers now maybe advertising maybe it did not increase our sales this month maybe it will increase sales next month maybe advertising is going to give us some brand name which is a value we cannot record yet but based on the numbers strictly on the numbers we will reject this offer we're going to tell them look find maybe a better way to advertise so we can increase by more than 40 units and this is the income statement format sales the new sales will be 270,000 the new variable expense is 162 and basically what we're doing here is we're taking 540 units times 500 540 units times 300 that's what's given us the number sales minus variable expense will give us the contribution margin and we have to increase remember we have to increase fixed expense which is the monthly advertising budget by 10,000 as a result we're going to be less off 10,000 so our profit goes from 20,000 to 18,000 strictly on numbers thank you very much that's not a good deal let's take a look at another scenario let's assume we want to find out what would what would be the profit if adam can use higher quality material basically a better processing unit and by doing so we're going to increase the variable expense by ten dollars so remember the variable expense was 300 now the variable expense will be 310. maybe we'll add some sort of a cover that comes with the tablet i don't know we're just gonna add something to it and as a result this additional feature it's gonna give us an additional 
80,000, not 80, an additional 80 unit in sales. What should we undertake this option or should we pass? That's the question. Well, let's take a look at what we have. Well, what's going to happen to our sales? Well, our sales is going to increase by how much? Well, we're going to be increasing sales by 80 units, 80 times $500 per unit, the selling price. We're going to increase sales by $40,000. What's going to happen to our variable expense? Well, variable expense, well, we have an additional 80 units. That's going to be times 310. And the 500 unit, the old 500 unit, will have to increase them by $10 each. So all in all, total variable expense will increase by 29800 Well, so far, if we look at this, if we look at this, Increase in sales is 40,000. Increase in variable expense is 28,900. We, we can compute what's the increase in the contribution margin by taking the difference between those two figures. And the difference is 10,200. 10,200. So the difference is a net increase of 10,200. Is this a good deal? And the answer is yes. It looks like it's a good idea. Let's add a feature to that tablet by increasing adding some feature to it, some raw, raw, what I meant by raw material here, not quality raw material, some feature, maybe increasing the speed of the tablet, the processing unit. And if you want to see this from a contribution margin income statement, it's always good to, to know this. I always tell my students in class, everyone laughs, tattoo that on your hand, the contribution margin income statement, because it, it's going to be very helpful either in your accounting courses or CPA exam. So basically your sales is 290, less variable expense is 179,800. Again, here we're assuming 580 units. And notice your contribution margin went up by 10,200. Fixed cost is the same and that 10,200 will flow to the bottom. And as a result, you will have an additional 10,200 in net operating income. And that's not a bad deal, we should go with this. Before we're looking at additional scenarios, I would like to remind you whether you are a student or a CPA candidate or a CMA candidate, most likely that's who you are. If you're watching this, thank you very much. I'm glad you're watching. You have arrived. You want to check out my website, farhatlectures.com. The reason you are here because you are looking for some help and I can help you. I have lectures, multiple choice, true, false. I don't replace your CPA review course if that's what you are studying for. I don't replace your accounting course. All my accounting courses are organized by chapter, so it's very easy to follow. All my CPA exam resources are organized just like your CPA review material. If you have not connected with me on LinkedIn, please do so. Take a look at my LinkedIn recommendation. Like this recording, please click on the like button. It doesn't cost you anything. Share it with others. Connect with me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit. And I, cr I created a CPA exam support group on GroupMe. Please join us. Let's take a look at this scenario. What if, what is the profit if Adam does the following? They cut the selling price by $20. So we're going to reduce the price from 500 minus 20. The new price is 480. Increase the advertising budget by 15,000. Maybe you want to advertise that we cut the price. <laughs> and as a result, we think sales can go from 500 to 650. Is this a good deal? Well, we have to see. We have to see what, what if, basically, what if, what if this happened? What would happen? First, let's start with sales. Sales, we're going to have 650 unit times 480. We're going to have sales of 312. So we're going to increase sales by 62,000. Always will comparing to this data. Variable expense, it's going to stay the same. 650 times 300 unit. It's going to increase by 190. Oh, sorry, by it's going to increase to 195, which is an increase of 45. Now, if we look at the sales minus the contribution margin, we will see that our contribution margin will increase overall by 17,000, 17 K. Now our fixed cost, our advertising fixed cost will increase by 15. Well, that's a negative. Those are positive. Well, overall, we're going to have a net increase of 2000. Not a, not bad, not bad. Let's take a look at our contribution margin income statement. This is what, this is what it looks like. Sales minus variable expenses. Again, I keep repeating this because the goal of my courses is to make sure you understand. So by repeating, it will help. Sales minus variable expense gives you the contribution margin minus fixed expenses, which is an increase of 15,000 will give us 22,000, a $2,000 increase in net operating profit. Now you might see those examples, maybe not in a, maybe in an exercise or in a multiple, multiple 
choice format. So be quick, make sure you know the formula and run through it real quick. Let's look at this scenario. What, what's the profit impact if Adam pays $15 sales commission? So rather than paying flat salary, Adam says, I'm going to use motivation. I'm going to motivate my employees and tell them, look, rather than paying you a salary, spe specifically salespeople, I'm going to give you $15 per unit. Right now I'm paying them $6,000 per month. And I think by doing so, I'm going to motivate them. And as a result, we're going to increase sales from 500 to 750. Is this a good decision? Well, we're going to have to run through the numbers. Sales would increase to 287,500, which is 575 unit times 500 per unit. Variable expenses will increase to 181, 125. Now we see that the, contrib the new contribution margin is 106. 375, which is 6,375 more the current contribution margin. But the good thing about this is we are going to deduct 6,000 from our fixed expenses. Our fixed expenses used to be 80,000. Now our fixed expenses are 74. So our new profit, our new profit is 32,375 while the old profit, the current option is 20,000. So simply put, overall, we increased profit by increasing contribution margin, 6,375 plus savings of 6,000 by paying commission rather than, rather than flat, flat, flat salary. As a result, we increased net profit by 12,375. And this looks like the best option thus far. Again, mo knowing how to motivate employees is extremely important. If you could motivate them to sell more, the company will benefit. Let's take a look at this scenario. If Adam has the opportunity to sell 150 tablets to a wholesaler without disturbing sales to other customers or changes any fixed expenses, what price would Adam quote the wholesaler if Adam wants to increase monthly profit by 3000 So Adam wants to do what? They want to, they have the opportunity, maybe an international customer where we don't serve that market, say, okay, um, we're interested in buying 150 unit, but we really want a deep discount. Okay, like, okay, if 150 unit, we think about what do we want to do? We want to make a profit of $3,000 from this deal, increase our profit by $3,000. How do we approach this problem? Well, if we want to increase our profit by $3,000, we're selling 150 units. What does that mean? It means we have to make a profit per each unit. So we're going to take 3,000 divided by 150. We're going to have to make a profit from each unit of $20. That's the goal, profit of $20. Now remember, our fixed expense does not change. We are told here that it doesn't, it's not gonna disturb our sales to other customers. It's not gonna disturb our fixed expenses. Basically this market is in, I don't know, in S South America where we don't have any, uh, any business there, just one time order. If that's the case, how much we will need to charge this customer to make a profit of $3,000. Well, remember, to manufacture those tablets, the only thing that we have to worry about is the variable expense. The variable expense is 300. Now we're gonna add to it $20 profit for each unit. And as a result, we can sell those tablets for $320, which is a deep discount. As long as these people don't go and advertise those tablets on the internet and sell them back to our market, we should be in good shape. Matter of fact, we should have a deal with them that they cannot resell it. They cannot resell it in certain geographical area or over the internet, someplace that that's gonna compete with us because that's not a good thing. So that's how we will price it. We will need to sell it for $320. Now, another way to look at it, just to kind of confirm it, if we sell 150 tablets at 320, our sales incremental increase in sales, 48,000, 150 tablet will cost us $300 in variable expenses. That's 45,000 plus 48 minus 45 will give us the profit that we desire an increased profit of $3,000. What should you do now? Go to farhatlectures.com. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe and work MCQs to help solidify 
increase your knowledge, increase your confidence. So when you have multiple choice questions on the exam, you are ready to answer them and you did learn the topic inside out. Invest in yourself, invest in your career. Good luck, study hard.